The first thing I'm going to talk to you about is the ink and paper that we can use for pen and ink. So the ink that we're using is India ink. India ink is a pigment ink, meaning the color comes from fine particulates suspended in a solution. We're using a waterproof India ink. This is going to be great for being able to lay out some lines and textures, allow those lines and textures to dry, and then you'll be able to work over top of them with gray washes and watercolor and not disturb the initial textures and lines that you placed on your paper. The paper that we're using is a smooth surface split Bristol. The reason we're using something that's a smooth surface over a rougher surface, like a paper with a tooth or like a cold press watercolor paper, is the dip pens have a tendency to scrape the paper because they come to a really fine point. And when you scrape the paper, there's like little pieces of paper that kind of come up away from the surface and that can cause um, an effect called feathering which is not something that we want in our pieces. So the smooth surface Bristol is really nice and smooth. There's not really a tooth to it and the ink is going to sit right on the surface. It's not going to scratch the paper as much and it's going to look really nice and clean. The Bristol is also a little bit heavier weight so that makes it a little bit more like a watercolor paper despite the fact that it doesn't have the tooth. Um, it's more like a hot press watercolor paper than it would be a cold press because of the lack of texture. The weight is going to allow us to apply those washes and it's not going to warp as much. It's going to be able to hold the weight really well. So this is the paper that we'll be using for your projects. When you're first learning pen and ink and before you work on this smooth surface Bristol, I would suggest just working on a regular printer paper for right now because it has a smooth surface and it's a great thing to practice on.